name is Dee Dee Bunn, and I am an assistive technology specialist with the Georgia Project for Assistive Technology, a unit of the Georgia Department of Education. As teachers, we will have students in our classroom who need supports beyond a UDL design curriculum and differentiated instruction. These students may benefit from the use of assistive technology to allow them to access their curriculum. As we are going to be talking about products during this video, the Georgia Department of Education has a non-endorsement policy in which it does not endorse any specific product or device. When considering assistive technology for your students, teachers are strongly encouraged to research any products being considered to determine whether they will meet the needs of their students. Assistive technology is defined as any item that is used to increase, maintain, or improve the functional capabilities of students with disabilities. This can include students receiving special education services, as well as students with 504 plans. It is important to understand that assistive technology provides students with access to their curriculum that they may not be able to access through any other means. For example, a student with dysgraphia, a written expression disability, may not be able to legibly write. However, with assistive technology, or AT, they will be able to complete the writing task required in their curriculum. While this video will be focusing on the devices, as we talk about supports for students around writing, it is important for you to be aware that AT is not just a device, but also includes services such as training and coordinating with teachers, parents, and staff about the use of their devices. The provision of assistive technology is legally mandated through the Every Student Succeeds Act and the Individuals with Disabilities Act. Congress has told us that we must consider assistive technology for every student with an IEP every time we have an IEP meeting. While in this video we are focusing on assistive technology to support written expression, assistive technology covers a wide range of areas and students. This can include students with any type of disability, including learning disabilities, physical disabilities, cognitive disabilities, and hearing or vision difficulties, as well as others. Assistive technology can range from low-tech solutions such as strategies like dictating to another student or teacher, low-tech solutions such as adapted pen or pencil grips and paper, mid-tech solutions such as portable keyboards, all the way to high-tech solutions such as computer or web-based software programs. The level of technology that a student needs will be determined by the difficulties the student is experiencing and the tasks that they are required to do in the classroom. While in this video we will be providing an overview of the types of assistive technology that a student may need to complete writing tasks and assignments within their classroom, the type of assistive technology that a student needs will be determined by the type of difficulty that they are experiencing in the writing process. When determining what technology will best support the student's access to their curriculum, teachers and staff, including speech pathologists, occupational therapists, and others, need to determine the point where the student is breaking down in the writing process. Is it in handwriting, the conventions of writing, or the writing process itself? The point or points where the student is breaking down will determine the type of assistive technology that they need. This video is not intended to provide recommendations on assistive technology to address specific writing difficulties, as this is very individualized to each student. It will provide examples of the types of technology that might be appropriate for each area of writing. First, let's look at a few tools that will support a student with their handwriting task. For students that experience difficulty with the physical act of writing, technology as simple as pencil or pen grips or adapted pencils may be enough to support, may be enough support to allow the student to complete their writing assignment. Working with the student's occupational therapist can help to determine if these tools would benefit your students. Adapted paper or writing guides may also be beneficial to students that need assistance with writing on paper such as raised line paper or bold line paper 
to allow the student with problems keeping their writing organized on the page due to physical or visual problems. For students who need additional support in handwriting, the use of portable word processors or tablets may provide the student with the ability to produce their written assignments while not being separated from the class by working on a class computer in the back of the room. There are also tools that can assist a student with their spelling difficulties. Often, pairing spelling strategies with low-tech solutions such as spelling lists or personal dictionaries may assist a student that has spelling difficulties with complex words or specific content vocabulary. If a student experiences spelling or word usage problems with more vocabulary, the use of an electronic dictionary with speech output allows the student to enter a word that they are not sure of the spelling or usage to see whether it is spelled correctly or if they're using it correctly. They can listen to a list of words to select the correct word and then use it in their written product. For students that need more support with spelling or word usage, the use of a traditional word processor allows them to identify misspelled words or grammar difficulties. If text-to-speech is used, as you can see the little arrow pointing to the speech bubble, uh, students can listen to their work for editing and revision. Microsoft Word now has text-to-speech built in as a feature of that program. Many of the tools that I have mentioned earlier can also be used to support a student with their punctuation and grammar skills. Many word processors can assist students in editing their spelling and grammar in their written products. This is especially helpful for students that are unable to visually edit their handwritten work. As mentioned earlier, incorporating the use of text-to-speech will also allow the student to listen to their work for edits and revisions as well as assisting them with organization of their written product. Finally, there are tools that can assist students with formulating, organizing, and revising their written product. Print graphic organizers are often used by students with difficulty brainstorming and organizing thoughts. Students benefit from organizational support provided and often produce a better written product. The graphic support of the visual display helps some students better organize their thoughts and ideas. The use of concept and webbing software is another tool that can be used by students with difficulty brainstorming and organizing thoughts. Some of these software programs can then convert the webbing format to an outline format that students can then use as a base for their written product. The graphic support of the visual display helps some students better organize their thoughts and ideas. For some students, the act of getting their thoughts on paper can be difficult or daunting. Digital recorders can be used to record notes during lectures, record answers for tests, record homework assignments, and develop thoughts for their written products. These are just a few of the types of technology that students can utilize as assistive technology. However, it should be remembered that technology alone will not enable a student to succeed. Good instruction continues to be the foundation of developing a student's academic skills. Whenever using technology, it is also important to monitor the use of that technology as the student's skills and tasks change. Remember to incorporate the use of research-based strategies that you are learning about in this writing series in conjunction with any assistive technology that the student may need to provide them with optimal access and success in their written language. For further information on assistive technology devices and services, contact your local special education department. Thank you.